It's really hard to imagine a saint more celebrated and well-known than Francis of Assisi, whom the church celebrates this first week in October. And it's really small wonder. Francis is utterly fascinating and impossible to contain. He's, of course, best known for his love of animals and nature, and many people have serene-looking statues of him in their bucolic backyard gardens. But Francis was and is so much more than that. He embraced voluntary poverty. He was known for kissing lepers, lepers being an all-encompassing term for those who obviously had communicable diseases in his time. He was known also for going behind enemy lines during the Crusades and having a celebrated parley with the Sultan of Damietta. And the list goes on and on. But it's the very fact that Francis' acts were so wild and multifaceted that makes him one of the greatest saints in our canon. See, he realized that the gospel cannot be restricted to a simple formula of actions that, if taken sufficiently, are a good enough following of our Lord Jesus Christ. He realized that the gospel is all-encompassing, and it is always contextual. So whether we're in the sphere of humans or animals and nature, whether it's a time of peace or a time of war, whether we're in privilege and wealth or poverty and exclusion, there is always a good way to express the gospel in our words and our actions. And it looks pretty wild and diverse, as does the life of St. Francis of Assisi. I believe that St. Bartholomew's Episcopal Church is a good example of this living out of the gospel. There is really no single theme or characteristic that we can say is the defining identity of this church. It's just a small but mighty community of believers, a diverse community that looks at the needs of its own members and the world around it and responds in kind. And that response looks different at different times and in different contexts, but that's exactly what living out the gospel of Jesus Christ is all about. It's constantly taking the temperature of ourselves and the world around us. And then by the inspiration and the power and the wisdom of the spirit of Christ, choosing the best possible response, knowing that this is a dynamic venture that never stays the same one day after the next. This is the strength of St. Bartholomew's Church. This is the example we see in Francis of Assisi. This is what it means to be the followers of Jesus Christ.